Hey everyone, I'm gonna be sharing a little bit about anxiety today and how I have walked through anxiety in my life. And I just wanted to start off by reading from Psalm 55. This chapter pretty accurately describes what I felt like in my deepest moments of anxiety. And this is what it says. My heart pounds in my chest. The terror of death assaults me. Fear and trembling overwhelm me, and I can't stop shaking. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, that I could fly away and rest. I would fly far away to the quiet of the wilderness. How quickly I would escape from this wild storm of hatred. I read that psalm very shortly after I had, I guess you could call it, a panic attack, an anxiety attack, a meltdown, breakdown, whatever you want to call it. It was not good. It was not pretty. Um, and I read this psalm and it brought a lot of peace because it expresses so deeply what, what is going on in, in David's heart and in his mind. But the whole thing resolves so beautifully at the end by saying, give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. And then at the very end it says, I am trusting you to save me. When I first got married and moved here to Belize, there was so much change that happened so fast in my life. I could not keep up. I could not process all of it. And I developed all these really small fears and insecurities that just kind of rotated through my mind but eventually those little things that seemed so silly grew into this monster that I just came face to face with all of a sudden one day and I broke and I didn't know what to do because my comfort my control had been completely stripped away from me and it made me feel like I was left with nothing and there was nothing I could do and I just had to give in to all these crazy feelings of fear. So it became this really intense cycle that we see the Israelites go through again and again in the Old Testament of trusting in God for care and provision and guidance and then things go great and then you kind of get comfortable with oh yeah okay I think I got this I can I can do this on my own and then this gradual decline, falling away, and then all of a sudden you hit rock bottom and you have to cry out to God for help again. The most important turning point for me was when I decided to start reading my Bible every day. I got on a plan to read through my Bible in a year, and all of a sudden I found life as I was reading God's Word. I found all the hope and all the peace that I had been missing out on, and in a way ignoring that whole time as I had just made room for all of those fears and anxieties and I had let it into my mind and just kind of let it make itself at home there. Psalm 119 verse 37, turn my eyes from worthless things, give me life through your word. Romans 12 verse 2 says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. We were not designed or created to have a fearful heart and mind. We were designed and created with a sound mind and yet somehow we think that we have to just accept the fact that we have anxiety. Just a few weeks ago I had a moment where I was feeling overwhelmed and anxious and like I, I couldn't breathe. Alex came and, and comforted me, he held me, and I asked him if he could pray for me. And he looked at me and with all the love and all the care, he said, yeah, of course, but you should pray for yourself. Literally, I just thought, no, I, I can't, I can't pray for myself. I knew that, that it was true. I knew that, yeah, I need to pray for myself, but for some reason, I had just kind of accepted that, like, well, the anxiety's here, it's happening, somebody help, get me out of this, and then I'll be good to go again. We really have to make that choice 
for ourselves to not let anxiety take up that space in our minds. I remember when we first moved here, there was this salamander that kept coming into the house and absolutely freaking me out. Like I literally, my heart was just on edge all the time. And if I saw it, it just, my heart just plummeted and like, I didn't know what to do with myself. I was just so on edge and I had to go to a meeting. So I was like, thank goodness I can get out of the house, get away from this little beast in the house. And when I got to my destination, I saw an iguana just there in the middle of my path. And iguanas are considerably larger than salamanders, although they are just as harmless well, most of the time, probably. And I was just about ready to cry at that moment because I was just over it. I was so afraid. I was just like worn thin. And I just thought, you know what? I'm just gonna give him his space. I'm just gonna let him stay there. I will walk around. I will go out of my way to avoid this situation. But all of a sudden I just got really upset and I had this like indignation rising up within me. Like, no, why should I let him hang out there? That's my spot, that's my path. I need to walk there. And so I just went down that path confidently, even though inside I'm like, just about to have a heart attack. And the iguana moved because the iguana was way more scared of me than I was of the iguana. And I think that is such a good picture of fear in our life and how we just, so often we just let it stay there. We, we work our way around it. We would rather just avoid it because we're so afraid of the anxiety, we're so afraid of the pain, we're so afraid of the what ifs and being out of control and not knowing what's gonna happen. Remember that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of a sound mind. God tells us time and time again in his word, do not be afraid, do not fear. And that's something that we need to practice more and walk in every day of our lives. And the only way we can do that is if we are constantly in God's presence because in his presence is that peace that passes all understanding it. It overcomes in every situation, every circumstance, and we can rest in that peace no matter what's going on around us. So thank you so much for watching and listening. I was really not feeling it today, but I I know I, this needs to be talked about more and I know anxiety is something that so many people struggle with and we need to help each other out in any way that we can. Okay, that's it. Bye.